Texas is a control chaos area. That's what 101 was. It's KOL. Well, you know what the weather is, stick your head out the door. But these FM stations no one ever heard of were reaching this counterculture. That grew, the music grew. Man, the, it was freeform. The, the DJs got to play with the f they wanted, so they played whoever they felt like playing. If they didn't like your music, you weren't going to get played. Hi, I'm Dana Steele with my special guest tonight, Billy Idol. We helped start what was the FM. 101 KLOL. KLOL was my education. You know, you didn't want to be the last person to know about a new song. We weren't just a radio station. We were part of the community. We were part of your lives. KLOL was a pioneer in breaking new artists. That's when they really could. I got George Harrison in the studio by probably insulting him. And there were an awful lot of listeners out there. Millions of people wanted to be part of this party. The brand of KLOL was always rebellion. It was rebellion against the status quo. We would actually get on the air and say, don't put a KLOL bumper sticker on your car because you will be stopped by the cops. People like Crash and Dana Steele, they were my heroes. Once he had a mic in the hand, it was like, it's on. <laughs> All across America, I don't know, if you know the name Stevens and Pruitt. The real? reason these guys are here is because the FCC right now has warned three radio stations to tone it down. Every consultant and program director that you come across will tell you the music is the star and everybody else is just there for support. KLOL and the Runaway Radio were the stars. <laughs> <laughs>